Hey, what's up guys? It's Black Sheep and I'm back. I just got this box of Between the Pipes, the 10th anniversary of Between the Pipes in the mail today. Got it from D, uh, not DMP, I was going to say DMP. Actually, it was from Dave and Adam's Card World. I ordered it a couple days ago and I also, just as usual, they, you know, when you order stuff from them, they send you free stuff, which is awesome. And so I got actually like 10 retail packs of champs. So that's kind of cool. Um, why don't I do the main thing first, and if you want to stick around to see what comes out of these champs packs, I'll do that right at the end. This is my first time opening this product. It came out really recently, um, and this year I wanted to open a lot more ITG stuff. And so I've been doing that, and it's exciting to do that. I've been liking it a lot, and so, you know, hopefully we'll open up more and more and more and more. All right, there we go. We'll just go take a look what these cards are like. Between the pipes, obviously, all goalie stuff. And so we'll see how it is. All right, here we go. We've got some standard base card design stuff going on here. And right out of the gate, I have a mass, mass man of Jonas Hiller. And it has like a kind of die cut. I don't know, I can pull it back. It's like die cut like a 10. I don't know if you can tell, but like this is the one, and there's a zero there. So the Masked Men, Masked Men 4. Nice design on that, actually. We have these puzzle cards where, you know, if you collect a bunch of them, these are the He Shoots, He Saves Points cards. Collect a bunch of these, put them together, and you can make a little puzzle for yourself, which is kind of neat. And then standard base cards. So here we go, do some more. And we have our first autograph card of Gary Simmons, Between the Pipes Decades 1980s. Authentic autograph, and that's a really cool looking mask on Gary Simmons. Sweet. <laughs> that's, that's a little scary, actually. And then we have base cards. All right, here we go. That's cool, Thomas Grice, I like that one. And a Massman 4 of Roberto Luongo. I really like the Massman cards. They look really sharp this year to me. Oh, and we have our second autograph. Joe Daly. 1970s decades autograph. So I've got my two autographs ready, so everything's going pretty quick here. Still got a ton of packs to go. Let's see if I can speed this up. Mark Andre Fleury. That's cool. It's a nice picture on these. Some of these. Uh, oh, another autograph. Whoa, what's this? 1960s decades. Jack McCartan. This autograph. I don't know. Maybe he's getting older. Harder for him to sign. So three autographs so far. That's um, I wasn't expecting that. That's nice. And we have here Masked Men, Thomas Vokun. Okay, and um, looks like we have a standard insert card here of Expansion Tandems, Bernie Perrant and Doug Favell. Got a USA looking card here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. It's a nice gloss to the cards, actually, too. I mentioned that. Maybe these aren't inserts. Oh, they're just part of the subset of the, the main set. So those tandem cards, I think, are just part of the main set. All right, we have a between... I think this is an insert. Between the Pipes 10th Anniversary card of Jonas Hiller. And yeah, that is an insert. There we go. Cool, kind of like a gold-looking insert card.
another one of those cards of Glen Hall. It's cool because I got a Glen Hall autograph recently. So that's nice. Someone's hair. Weird. Still looking for my mem cards. Should be two, I think, in here. We'll see if we get them. I think there might be one in I, there is one in here. So let's see what we got. And we have two color jersey. Um, Ken, Kent Simpson. Between the pipes, Kent Simpson. Game used jersey. Two color swatch, white and gray. And there's the back. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with him, so not a huge name for me. Maybe he'll be a superstar one day. Okay, again, just base cards. I'm a little bit over half the way through the box, so cards are pretty nice so far, but I definitely will be reviewing this on my website. So keep an eye out for that review. I just reviewed um, Elite a couple days ago, and so it's kind of cool that a lot of hockey products are coming out. It's fun to open stuff, definitely, especially new stuff. And base cards in that pack. And base cards in that pack. All right, guys, phone's going off. Oh, Tyson Sexsmith of the Sharks. That's kind of cool. And Nidamaki, so big, big Sharks pack. And oh, check this out. We have a Bernie, no, not Bernie Brown. Ron Hextall between the pipes. What is this? Anniv anniversary jumbo pad. Cool. Do a close up on that. Looks really old school. Jumbo pad of Ron Hextall. Now that is a classy looking card. Definitely really nice and clean design. I like that a lot. So I'm not sure if these are more limited than other cards, but it's definitely a beautiful looking card. Ron Hextall. Nice. So just a couple more packs left. I think I got all the hits because I got two mem and actually got three autos. So I think I've ended up doing pretty well there. In terms of the hits, Archer Zerbe. Wow, a lot of shark schoolies in this product, which that's cool for me. I like that. And last pack here. I bet you know who that was, or is. And that's it. Okay, so just base. So let me recap the hits, and then I'll go to the champs. We have, I'll start with uh, the Ron Hextall uh, Jumbo Pad. The Kent Simpson jersey, Jack McCartan, Decades Autograph 60s, Joe Daly, Decades Autograph 70s, and Gary Simmons, Decades Autograph 80s. So cool. A nice product that I'm looking forward to reviewing really soon here. I'm going to kind of look through the cards again and gather my thoughts and then write my review. I'm going to move this box over and I'm going to go ahead and put the Champs packs out. And I got 10 chance packs. These are just the extras from Dave and Adam's Card World that they sent me. So I think it's 0910. Yeah, 0910. I'm not expecting really anything out of these, but you never know. I haven't opened this stuff in a while. And oh, yeah, the, and the minis. Berglund and base. And we have Alma Guinness mini card. Oh, I better check the backs of these. Yeah, I think they're just standard backs. You know, with Champs, they had a ton of like different sort of stuff you can get in there. These packs are so thin, it kind of makes me worried about ruining the card. Henrik Zetterberg, standard back. But it's fun to rip them anyways. It's always nice to have good stuff and extra stuff to rip when you buy cards. Get a little bit extra is kind of cool. Uh, Carrie Lettinen mini card. 
standard base. And I think this is actually a parallel. It's hard to tell, but it's like a lighter shade of blue on that Vanek. It's too bad I don't collect Vanek anymore, unfortunately. Ryan Smith, standard back. And a few more packs here to go. We got a Marty Turco mini standard back and a Lemieux parallel, lighter blue parallel. I know the, the reds and the yellows, those are pretty hard to get. And Frank Mahovlich mini parallel, standard back and a Dale Howarchuk parallel card. Down to the last three packs here. See Ryan Sutter, Cedar, standard back and base, regular base. We have Patrick Eliash, mini card, and Jonathan Taze, parallel, lighter blue base, parallel card, and last pack of the champs. Nothing really has come out at all, and I don't think anything's going to be in here either. Oh, well, I got Nahani National Park Reserve. Okay, exciting. Not really. And a couple base. So there we go. Appreciate you guys watching the video. I hopefully you enjoyed the break of Between the Pipes and then the 10 packs of Champs. I will be writing a rev review soon of Between the Pipes. Look out for that, and look out for a contest as usual. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.